What's so amazing that keeps us stargazing? And what do we think we might see? No, 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 <laughs> not cool. Not cool, Andrew. <gasps> Let's Andrew go off there. of Kermit the Singing Frog to freshly served frog's legs at Cafe Sassoir. Poor Good morning, Andrew. Drew. <laughs> Good morning. Now I feel a little guilty. Like seconds ago, I was talking about how I didn't feel that bad. Because take a look at these frog legs. I felt like they didn't look very froggish anymore. I was Ooh. happy that they cut off the little flippers. Uh. They're skinned. I felt like I could disassociate those frogs from our friends like, like Kermit and the frogs that we caught at Frog Follies. But uh, now that I got that song in my head, I don't know. This, this is going to be this gonna be tough. Well, now wait. Now try them first and then see if you feel bad because they're really, really good. <laughs> well, that's what everyone says. They're supposed to be very, very delicious. So uh, in mere moments, we're going to be able to uh, try these out. But before we get to try them, we have to cook them properly. And it's actually something that you can do at home, something that you can try. But people make a very common mistake. So we're going to help you out with that right now. All right. Okay. Uh, what's the problem? We overcook? Undercook? It's not about the cooking. It's about the prep. And to tell us a little bit more about that, here's uh, Cam Tran, the chef from Cafe Cessoir. So Cam, uh, we've, got our, we've got all the materials that we need to get battering. But before we start to dip these frogs in the breading, Something very important needs to happen. What's the step that people are missing? We gotta cut out the pelvis bone. Okay, so is this a difficult procedure? Do no. I need to know a lot about like surgery? Do I have to watch some episodes of Dexter to get in the mood? You have to watch ER. Oh, ER, okay, good. Well, scalpel, this looks That's like right. a very precise instrument. Now, what do we need to do to, to so, remove the pelvis bone? All we have to do is take the leg, and you gotta feel there's two bones right here. You just gotta cut it right at the angle. Almost like a V-shape. Okay, I'll let you go first, so, but because you want to be like ER, I'll try to add some pressure. Kay. Hang on, do you need me to sponge anything? Here. Uh, yes. Okay, <sighs> ready, doctor? I'm ready. Make the incision. Beep, 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 beep. He's still alive. Actually, no, the frog is dead, but that's okay. That's what we're working He's on. He's dead. We're going to bring him back alive. You got a real satisfying snap out of the bones there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that got picked up, but there's like a, like, like a pop snap happening there. So these frog legs are now ready to go. And there is a, a lot of, a lot more, ooh, there's a, you can really see inside of the bone, but there's a lot more meat on these, uh, on these bad boys than, than I would have thought. So right. it is kind of like a chicken wing then. There's a little bone inside. That's exactly it. Okay, good. So um, show me, so now that I've, I've seen it in action, um, I, so, I cut. You, yeah, just cut it right out of V and go straight down to it. Oh, you did you hear that? Okay, I'll try to be really quiet when I do this next one. Do you okay. want to knead it too? Uh, yeah, give me a little dab here. Okay, good. There we go. Beauty. Now, what do we do with this thing? Is this a little memento? Do we cook that? Do we save it? No, that? we just throw it out. Okay, good stuff. That's well, so we've got our legs. Now it's time to do uh, some, 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 get the breading on here. So what do I do first? Yolk so, and then flour or flour, well, flour then yolk? Flour, then yolk. And this is the breadcrumb mixture that you did. Okay, so while I'm working on this, Cam, mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about the restaurant because uh, so for people like, whoa, frog legs, that sounds a little exotic for me. You do some more traditional things as well, correct? I do. Actually, the funny thing is uh, frog legs are quite tra traditional. In France, everybody eat them, so it's quite common. Okay. okay. So uh, I do do different type of style, French onion soup. We do sell it right here, very traditional, classic French onion soup. Uh, I also do steak peppercorn as well. Uh, Steak town of oil with peppercorn sauce. So very natural, simple ingredients. Great. And you got to visit Cafe Cessoir because uh, Cam is, uh, is quite the chef and really, really pays attention. Like we made a, a pie a little bit earlier on and the chef here actually went out and picked the berries himself. And you really do a great job with your cooking. Now let's talk about some of the, uh, the more exotic things that you do because frog legs are, they're a walk in the park. Yes, they are. The uh, other ingredients I tend to do is um, Pythons, crocodile, kangaroo, something that normally you can't find in a lot of restaurants or in the store because they cost a lot of money to bring in. So it's especially products. Well, so. not many people are gonna be making Python at home. So a great exactly. opportunity to try foods that you just wouldn't find anywhere else is to come to Cafe Cessoir. Now the best way to find out what is what is to go on his Facebook page because basically he'll take a picture and say, hey guys, this is what we have right now. And within hours, it's all gone. So if you wanna get in touch with Cam, we've got the details on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca for his website and his Facebook page. Make sure to uh, add him on your Facebook so you know what is going on at his restaurant. We're taking a quick break here on Breakfast Television, but next time you see us, we're going to be able to dig into these delicious frog legs. Lost not a fairy tale, I'm not a princess, don't have any magic. Down. 